Alright guys, so I'm back with another video. I just dropped off my load over near Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, I'm currently empty right now. I'm headed to Jackson, Tennessee. It's a place called Ameristeel. So I'm going to be picking up a load and taking that to the uh, Laredo Terminal. So if you guys haven't seen the terminal, I'm going to show you that in this video. Stay tuned and let's ride. Almost eight months here with Melton and I still got these tarp problems here. Yeah, so this is the load I got, guys. I picked this load up yesterday in Jackson, Tennessee and uh, ended up shutting down last night around 5.30 because I started about 4.30 in the morning in that day. So yeah, as you can see, look at the back. Man, I really got to work on this stuff here. But yeah, I got the back I got to fix here. I got the front I got to fix and uh, we're going to be taking this to the Laredo terminal. That's where the load is destined for. So yeah, we're going to drop that off over there. Let me go ahead and fix this and I'll, I'll talk to you guys when I get back into the cab. All right, so I got all that secured up and fixed. Like I said, I'm going to the Laredo terminal in Texas and uh, I got 846 more miles to go. Here's my clock right here. Let me see. Oops, I don't want to change. I don't want to change it. So I only got nine and a half hours that I can run today. I've already ran about less than two hours today. So I'll have a full clock today, but I won't have one tomorrow. If we look at my eight days, you can see 
the next two days I'm only getting back uh, six hours and 42 minutes and then the next day is six hours and 58 minutes so it's gonna be it's gonna be cutting it close guys also when I weighed this load um, here let me show you so I can only have 34,000 pounds on my drive axles and I'm 120 pounds over there my trailer axles are good I can have up to 40,000 pounds there same thing with my gross weight I can't be over 80,000 so I'm 120 pounds over on my drive axles guys so I have two options I can uh, basically I did the math if guys if you're over like that 120 pounds or whatnot something small like that um, you could as a flat better you could take your equipment out of your headache rack and secure it to the end of the trailer that'll knock off some weight uh, what I'm gonna do I calculated fuel weighs approximately because it does change weight um, it weighs around set anywhere between seven and eight pounds per gallon so I just go seven and a half and uh, I came up with about 16 gallons of fuel uh, that I need to lose in order to be be running legal so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run low on fuel for this whole trip yeah it's gonna be a pain but uh, you know it's not that far of a trip like I said I only got 840 miles to go so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna run into the run into this Road Ranger here grab something to drink and then we're gonna hit the road I'll talk to you guys a little bit later look at this weather out here yeah, that's pretty nasty out here today guys been driving in this pretty much all day I do have 444 miles left so I did some, pr some pretty good work I have three hours left today to drive and then I got another six and six hours and 42 minutes to drive tomorrow so it's really gonna be cutting it close I'm supposed to be there tomorrow uh, it's gonna be cutting it close I might run out of hours we'll see either way hopefully if all goes well I can pick up a load um, for Friday and drive through the weekend get some miles down get a decent paycheck so yeah I'm gonna head into this QT and I also got a I also got a fuel up I've only been putting like 30 gallons in my tank like I said I'm running heavy right now so I got to run low on fuel the whole time so that's kind of a pain in the butt but yeah that's what's happening I'll get back with you guys a little I'll bit later this out. so I should have never even left that truck stop when I fueled up it's raining out and they decided to take the uh, northbound 34 lane or the uh, northbound 34 direction it's a two-lane road they shut down southbound and they just made northbound both directions I'm separated by paint on the road I got semi trucks and other cars flying at me it's wet out and basically my life is in their hands whether they can drive it or not. Like Brady was saying, at least it's not, uh, these were not barricaded in with wall, with the uh, with the barricades, the concrete barricades on each side. I wonder how many fatalities happen on this road a year. Yeah. So there's that. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys when I stop. I'm gonna be stopping here at this, uh, at the closest truck stop. Because I'm just not, all I'm doing right now is burning my time up. You know, I'm only going 55. It's raining out. And I'm bouncing between 55 and 45. So, you know, I'm not going to make it to the uh, terminal in time. At this rate, if I keep driving. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What a long day. So, I got up today at 4.30. And uh, it's 7.30 now. It's usually, that's my typical work day, guys. Anyways, I made it to a uh, rest area just by the nick of time with like one minute left on my clock. I got 373 miles left to go till I get to the terminal. So, uh, yeah, it's 7.30 now. I'll roll out tomorrow morning at uh, 5.30. And hopefully we can get there. I'll figure it out tomorrow. It's, it's going to be a close one, guys. It's de it's definitely going to be close. So, yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to do my post-trip call tonight. Stay tuned, guys. 
I'll show you around the uh, Laredo terminal when I get there. And I'll see you all in the morning. Yeah, it's top of the morning to you. It's technically not morning time. It's the afternoon. I'm pretty grumpy in the morning. So I decided to wait till I stopped for my first low check tire check. I'm over here at the Loves. Definitely a different day out. It's beautiful out here today. It looks like I am going to make it. I got four and a half hours on my clock with 180 miles to go. So I could do 180 miles in three hours. So uh, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and hit the road. And I'll get back to you guys when we're at the Laredo Terminal. Alright guys. We are one and a half miles away from the terminal. We made it. With very little time to spare. It's just a beautiful day out today too. The rest of the country is freezing. Dealing with hell, 30 degree weather I guess would be like summertime for a lot of these spots up north, but before dealing with freezing cold weather, go out down here. Seven on the right toward it's 80, Drive. degrees. Garmin, I told you not to talk, but I'm talking. When the adults are talking, you zip it. Last time I was here, I came here on a weekend. I believe it was Friday, Saturday. It was impossible to get out of this place. Turn right on Las Cruces Drive. I'll let her. I'll let her finish talking since she's more important than me. There it is. I'll turn right at the guys. traffic light. Yeah, what they do is we got if you if you guys were able to see the loads with the red tarps and stuff on them over there which i'll show you when i get here anyways but those loads all come from mexico so they're mexican loads they bring them over here to our laredo uh, terminal for the most part and then we grab them and disperse them throughout the country and vice versa. Like this load I got here, I don't know. Um, I'm dropping it off here. It may very well be picked up by someone that's going into Mexico and it's getting dropped off over there. As far as their oper their Laredo operation goes, I'm not too sure, but I last time I was here, that's what they told me. So, hey, just going by what they tell me, guys. Yeah, it's beautiful out today. And on, and on top of that, I'm running out of hours, so I get to relax for the rest of the day. So I had a nice little half day today. Which is good news, because then I can work on my video, get that edited, submitted, so you guys can watch it. Get this light, there we go. Mexican loads. What we got to do is untarp those and uh, put our tarps on them and then drop them off wherever they may go in the country. So right here is our inspection bay. Arriving at 8618 Las Cruces Drive, Laredo, Texas 78045 on the right.
guy's telling me to go to the, his right, but yet the, the track is... go ahead and do this inspection on my truck real quick let them do their job and then i'll uh give you guys a run through i'm sure that's what you stuck around if you stuck around for the video this long you guys are obviously interested in seeing the terminal so i'll go ahead and give you that run through and uh we'll end it there i'll get right back with you guys so here we go as promised i'm here at the laredo terminal and i'm gonna go ahead and give you the tour i'll flip this around real quick by the way i got my bumper fixed Check it out. Yeah, buddy. So I got my bumper fixed. And I haven't gotten a new load. This is the safety building, though. Over here. That's where they do all their drug testing and whatnot. This little bobtail parking area. So, yeah. Over there. Down over there, that's where uh, some of the Mexican loads are at. Yeah, it's not a bad terminal. Then we got uh, some basketball hoops right over here. I'll take you guys, take you guys inside real quick. We yeah, we got the grill. You want a barbecue? Got a little bit of grill action going on here. And then uh, just on the other side of that truck over there, that's where they got personal vehicles. They're, they got melting on the side of it, but uh, we could take a melting van over here. Let me change the, let me change the exposure real quick in here. All right, so we'll start with down here. Down here, we got the bathrooms. Outbound dispatch operations. We got some melting drivers. What's up, guys? How do you like my videos? I watched this. Look at this. supposed to be picking up metal pipe, and he showed up and picked up one little skid of fucking PVC pipe. Worst thing is you had to tarp it. You know what I'd have done? I'd have rolled my tarp, opened it up, and threw my straps over it. That's it. Left. Go. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and then in here we got our vending machines. So, I mean, it's it's not as big as the Tulsa terminal, but they got everything we need. This place ain't even as big as Birmingham, man. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's the Laredo terminal for you. Like I said, if you stuck around to see the terminal, I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. If you like the videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm tired. I'm going to call it a day. You guys take care.